Hi everybody, this is Ethan, again, talking about promises. In this chapter, we are going to talk about the concept of chaining promises together. The basic idea behind it is that when this promise finishes, well, you want to say, okay, when you're done, I want to do something next. That's the power behind a callback, it's returned to you. With promises, how this works, is you call dot then. And this acts as the way of moving forward. So when this promise has finished, when it's finished reading the file, it is going to call the dot then method for you and pass in the data. And what, where did we get this data? Well, that's the data we resolved the promise with. And so now we have this function that says, okay, when I'm finished reading the file, then do something. And here's the data. And the power behind this is that it's chainable. So you can continue to chain promises together, each one doing something with the information and passing it along to the next. And every single one of these can be asynchronous because when you're inside a promise, well, if you return something, it's either the value you returned, which is sent to the next one, or you return a promise itself, which means if you have a second promise, let's call it P2 as P1, and you define it up here as something else, you can simply return P2 and this asynchronous method can happen and when it's finished, then the next method happens, which allows you to continue to define promises and continue to have asynchronous methods and it allows you gracefully to go to the next one. And the best part about promises too is that, well, you'll notice we're not handling any errors here because if any error occurs, it goes into this catch method which the error is passed into and you can handle it here. Which means we have a very powerful way of saying, I want you to go through these asynchronous methods and if there's an error in any one of them, well, we'll handle it down here. This showcases some of the incredible power with promises and a different way of handling asynchronous methods in Node. So we're gonna dive into more about promises and different implementations of them next time.